Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 172. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 168 to 174. Hey, in Trick 172, we want to see how to do a running total two different ways. Now, I've done videos on this before, two separate videos, but I wanted them both here in the same video so you could see both and then figure out which one's best or which suits your needs best. Running total with a formula and then with a pivot table. Running total with a formula is very simple. We'll do auto sum which is alt equals is the keyboard shortcut and then it comes up just beautiful. I'm going to shift colon what does it do? It puts C7 colon C7. But guess what? If we lock one of them by putting our cursor in the middle of it and hitting the F4 key once and twice because I'm locking it going down, this one will remain locked. But this is relative. So as we copy the formula down, the range will expand. Control Enter and then double click and send your cursor down. If we click in the last one and hit F4, Two for edit, you can see that the range expanded. Now let's do it with a pivot table. And I'm going to highlight the data right out first because I don't want that one there. I'm going to highlight the data and I'm going to go to insert pivot table, pivot table. In 2003, you go to the data menu and then pivot table click on this. Notice because I highlighted it, it got the right data even though there's some data next to it. And in 2007 there's a one step wizard and in 2003 there's a three step. The table range data, this is in step two in the earlier versions. Step one just says do you want a pivot table and is it external data. Uh, and then step three in the old wizard asks you do you want it in a new worksheet or existing. I'm going to say existing. And then I'm going to click right here and click right next, oh, almost next to it right there. Click OK. Now, better scroll over here a bit. Oh, look at this. This looks like 2003. I have my settings set up this way so I can show you both ways. We want to drop our date here. That's where you, how you do it in 2003. And then sales to here. That's how, and it just shows us a replication of our data set. I'm going to control ZZ. I'm going to show you how I, I got this to look like 2003. Right click, pivot table options, display, and then show classic pivot table. So that's how if you like the older version, click OK. Here's the uh, 2007 version. You click date, you, dra you drag it down to the rows, and sales, and drag it down to the values. <clears throat> For both, uh, 2003 and 7 to show a running total, you right click and go to value field settings. Then say show value. Oh, you can change the function if you want. Show so you get a running average. Uh, show values as. We want show values as and there's a running total in. Finally, the base field is going to be date. I'm sorry, the base yeah, is date because we have sales here. It needs to know as it goes down what is it doing a running total each change here. So I click OK. And there it is, the running total. You can see their equivalent there. All right, we'll see you next Excel trick.